Hello, how's it going? Just making sure that is all fine, which I believe it is. Days. Right, okay. Let me change my channel a minute so I can get some sound. Shame I gotta use two screens to get sound, but you know, it's what it is. Right, okay. Let's get the iPad doing. I covered up the um the light on the uh it looks fine to me but it's really bright on the camera. I'll have a couple of goes this since it's on. I was just using his um setup for the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, let me just turn the cab down a bit. Uh, okay, happy days. <laughs> get a couple of credits going on this. It's quite hard this game is. Evening Dean, how's it going? Yeah, there's probably a simple way of doing that amp. I, I did get it working, but there was some... It's getting like a bit of a hum in the background. No matter what I did, so... I don't know whether... I don't know whether I need a small circuit, maybe. Like a... Like a um, filter circuit just on the end of it, just to clean it up a bit. I don't know. See what they say on ar arcade projects. It's probably an easy way of doing it. It would work that way I've got it set up as well. We'll say, mind, those uh, speakers, they, they're a lot better than um, the flat speakers that were in here. That guy hasn't sent me that speaker either. I've emailed him, but uh, got nothing, so I don't know what's going on here. Maybe, maybe I've got done over, possibly. Who knows? Isn't that man now? I suppose I'm glad I actually changed it. So. How's the cam looking? Does it look okay? I know it's a little bit darkish, but. Yeah, it is a common mod. Like I say, what you mentioned about taking the um, potential meter off the actual amp and then just running wires to it and putting it on the top of the cab, that, that would work. That would work probably perfect. That probably would be the best way to do it, actually. I have finished this once before. I remember credit feeding it a long time ago. I remember this game being long. It's a rising game as well, this isn't it? Even though it's got Capcom all over it. Do do do. Yeah, headphone socket would be handy as well, especially for me. I could use it to get sound directly from the the cab itself. Then. Damn me! But he hit me. I don't know whether you can get energy back in this game. Um, I might have to use a bomb. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, they're weird flat speakers as well. They can't be... I noticed they weren't very loud because I, I, I didn't really notice that much. They were missing, to be honest. You could just hear them on sort of maybe the a few of the high tones and that. Because they're like... um, It's got a small magnet in them and they're like a flat disc. So there's probably not much room in here for them to vibrate a lot. So... The speakers I put in here are pretty good ones, I think. So um, they sound they sound just as good as the original speakers in here. You know, the bottom speakers. Ah, oh, damn. It's definitely pumping out. I'm glad I I'm glad I did the new mod. I think. Yeah, I've um, I've got the uh, twenty millimeter black knob. That's turned up. The, you you could use an external amp as well, but I don't really want to do it that way. Cool, glad the camera looks right. Got two bombs. I think I'm gonna have to use them. Cool, as long as the camera looks tidy. I've got like pink lights going on here, red lights on them for the the view licks. I put uh, a light strip above the, you know, the plastic on the top of the view licks. There's a red light uh, strip on the back of there, so it's, it's lighting it up a bit. Looks cool. Don't ask, I'm into uh, coloured LED lights. <laughs> I think I like sparkly things. My old man was the same. Anything sparkly. <laughs> what I found in this, you're better off shooting the power ups when they're further down the screen. That was nice, a bit of energy. Ooh, dead. Yeah, difficult to set the mood. I bet that uh, neon sign he also had a lovely wood. <laughs> if I bought a neon sign, I don't know where I'd put it. <laughs> if you if you see this room, it's pretty much full. Literally, I I I th I'd like one, but I don't know where I'd put it. <clears throat> Yeah, this is, it's quite a tricky game. Because I remember it being it, it long as well when I credit for you the first time I played it. It is the last 1941, you know, 43 game or whatever, but um, I don't think I like it as much as uh, some of the other ones. It is decent though. It's a little bit different for Rise in mind.
Yeah, you're better off shooting the power-ups when they the last ship when they low. I think that's a bit of a tactic on this as well, to be honest. They have to go for this first ship. Got some nice graphics, mine. It's got some uh, lovely pixel art. Okay, that's number one. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy has just come out on the PS4, haven't I mean, it? Come out on Wednesday. Hope it, welcome. Yeah, that's quite funny. Have a drink, mate? Before I forget, I get some cider going. I've been playing um, a bit of Carrier Air Wing in the, in the week on you, and as much as I, I really like that game, it's, it suffers from Capcom, where Capcom, some Capcom, not all Capcom arcades, but some of them are cheap, where um, your energy just can, keeps continuously going down, so when you're fighting bosses, you, you will eventually end up with a one-hit death, which is... As much as I do like it, it is a bit of an annoyance. The same annoyance I get when I play by the um, Magic Sword. It's a little bit of a shame that Capcom did that with some of the games. Not all of them. Oh, I disappeared off screen. I'm full powered anyway. Right, okay, cool. Yeah, so it's, it's that is a little bit annoying. Oh god. I think it's some of the uh Boss could be quite tricky. It times out. Interesting. No, I'm not overly fast health bars either. But it's a shame that Capcom give you health bars instead of any, instead of lives, but then they automatically keep going down, which is a bit of a rip off, really. It's a bit of um, it's a bit of a dirty trick to keep you pumping money into it, which makes replaying them as much as I I like them, it makes them replaying them a little bit of an annoyance. It puts me off them like. I'm glad when some of those games, like Magic Sword, came to the SNES, they, they got rid of it. And it doesn't matter whether you put it on easy, um, the, the energy still goes down the same. Like, it would have been nice if you slapped it on easy and it would get rid of it, but no, it doesn't, unfortunately. Could have done with that power up as well, to be honest. Or stop shooting those power ups at the top of the screen.
Yeah, it should it's yeah, it's a bit of a shit. I gotta admit, it does it does put me off them. What is the tactic of killing these bosses quick? Is that charge? An NG, an NG up could really, couldn't they? Reminds me of um, Marvel vs. Capcom, I does. God, that's a bit awkward to dodge when they get close. All right, belt, let's go. I'm gonna bomb the shit out of these. No, oh, no, I'm gonna die. There he goes. Ah, and he's gonna land on the tank and die. Oh, no, he's not. Help! <laughs> That's quite funny. You press the button. He says, Help. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think I think M two are milking it a bit, to be honest. Especially when they they did sort of when they originally announced it was going to be like a collection of like a pack. They didn't they didn't really put it across as uh, it was going to be a collection. But you had to buy them one by one. I think it works out about twenty five quid for the base game. Then if you want Wardner on top of it, there's an extra two um, two thousand yen. So about an extra I know seventeen quid something like that. Actually, now we're talking about that game. Let's play the Meg Drive one. I've renamed as well. I put it in the I put it in the Discord. I've renamed them. So I got Mega CD now in my system, and uh, it did have Mega Drive. Whatever it's gone. Yeah, Mega Drive. I didn't realise there's there's a names folder on the on your Mister. Uh, and it, it says the name of the core and then the name of the menu. So you can leave the core name the same, but you can change the menu name. Thank God for that. It's annoying me, that is, Turbo Graphics. I want to be a PC Engine. Right, so we'll go the Japanese one. So it would be... Is it called Sami 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 on the Mega Drive? I can't remember. Yes, it is. Same, same, same. I the DreamWorks today. Oh, I don't know what the buttons are actually.
Okay. The Mega Drive one is easier than the arcade one, mind. I'm not sure whether the um, the Shot Triggers release is the original Japanese release of this, the two-player one, the one that's ridiculously hard. I don't know whether you can change it. I think it's the two-player. One of them is either the single-player or the two-player release. The original release of it is ridiculously hard. Yeah, I, I think they are milking it, I'm sure they are. The thing is, like, the first one they released, I, I don't think I like it at enough to spend the money on it. Oh, I did die. Damn. I can't remember which is the best weapon on this. One of them, you got a big death sort of beam that spins all over the screen once you power up. Yeah, you can power up with some ridiculous old levels on this game, can't you? Speed up with Andy. So this ain't a bad port, the arcade, really. Obviously not as good as the arcade, but still a pretty decent port. Do I want to get that one? I don't think I do. I am getting it. It's a Mega Drive music, does sound like um, Topland, doesn't it? Yeah, a box set in a few years would be nice, wouldn't it? If they if they decide to do it, I may have been buying the um, the beat versions with the cardboard boxes. Oh yeah, Game Royal. Yeah, I play. I've played the PC one. The only the only fault I'd say with the PC one is um, that you can't change your buttons, and the button layout is bizarre. But it, it does seem quite a nice game. I haven't played the Switch one, though. No, the Steam version's all right, but there's there's no button select. Which is a bit odd. And the but the button layout is, is a bit odd. It's a bit weird. There's quite a few buttons on it. Seems quite a decent game, though, from what I played of it.
wonder what's the, mo the powerfulest weapon in this game. I'm sure this is the weapon that starts moving all over the screen once you power it up enough. Probably not. Lavado. Oh, now we're talking. I do not want to change. I think I'm going to keep this weapon. Seems to be doing the job. I wonder if we can get any more bombs in there. on death beam this isn't it oh layer section yeah it's a nice game though is i like that game yeah if you got the saturn version there's, there's not much point painting it up sent you the saturn version it's got an improved mode as well haven't it Yeah, the sand hooked up to the car would be nice. I can do it, it's just the controls. I wonder if these Brook adapters, I wonder if I could get a satin to USB adapter, like a Brook one. I think they might do one. I wonder if you can, I wonder if you can daisy chain them for the USB I'm using in the cab. That'd be great if I could do that, because I, I could get the video into you off the satin. I have to have a look into that, see what adapters Brook do and whether it's, uh, you should be at the daisy chain of my reckon because they meant for like PlayStation and Xbox pads, didn't they? So, essentially you should be at the daisy chain one from the other, but possibly, oh god, but possibly use the one from the cab. Oops. I lost that weapon.
wouldn't mind that speed, but I don't want to. Alright, Mel. It's pretty hard to get me. Well, I was going to have to use a bomb in. I can't fire very fast for this uh, firing. Tap this button like a loony. Even it does, how are you? How the devil are you, my son? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I... I I can use the frame ice to get the video into you from the Saturn, but the controls. But if I can get a, if I could get a Brook adapter, I don't know if they do one for Saturn. They probably do, I expect. But Saturn to like PlayStation or Xbox or something, and um, I could plug it into the cabin. That would be quite cool. I could play elevator action returns. I definitely wipes them out quicker. was a bit rough the way they turned around then. Tidy. I think a spread weapon would be very useful on this. More than a death ray. Oh, those speed ups definitely play hard to get. <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, I knew that was going to be a bad idea. Right, cool, that's a full level of power up. This should help. I might try and stick with this weapon, actually. I'll have a look into that brook thing tomorrow. See if there is one. I'm sure I've got a PS2 to uh, Saturn adapter. Okay, that's probably not a bad idea doing it this way.
Yeah, the Meg Drive version, yeah. That's why I'd have a go with it, seeing as the to celebrate that the PS4 version has come out. <laughs> Which I haven't got. I'm playing this on the Meg Drive for a long time. Don't want it. He's power up so late made a dodge. Oh, I didn't want it. Oh well, got it now. God I nearly had it then. One more power up, maybe, and I'll get the, uh, the death beam. I could get that actually. I think I might. Music's decent, doesn't it? It does sound very, um, very toe plan. Ooh, that power up's gonna be good. Oh, yeah. Are we talking? Oh, is that an extra life end? Yep, I think so. I don't think the Mega Drive version's on that port either. Yeah, arcade okay, version's really hard there. Like I said, it does default to the uh, easy mode. There is a hard mode on you, which is a bit more like an arcade one. I didn't think it was quite so that popular, to be honest, this. I do like it though, it is good. I would be tempted to pick up the uh, PS4 one. Red weapon for the win, I reckon. Hang on. Scratchy. Back. 
Ah, oh, it's weird when you have a scratch and you just. It's just there, and it's annoying. Planes move crazy on this thing. One more power up for the next uh, level. I can't remember how many levels are on this, so I think it's fairly it's a fairly long game. Right, I don't want that. You know, a lot of the Topan games are fairly long and they to be honest. Yeah, I've got it flying around. I think I've got, I've just got a cartridge only version of it. I haven't got, uh, and I think it's an American one. All right, Julian, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, is it? Yeah, five, but yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah, I've had quite a lot of people asking me for ROMs. Thing is, you know, you know, on YouTube you can't really give them ROM links, can you? You know what I mean? If they really want it, they they need to go look at themselves. The only the only crazy video I got is my joystick review um, for my um, Kai, oh, my buddy, which one is it? Buddy uh, Hori Kai uh, stick. I think that's done over a hundred thousand views. I should do more modern uh, stick vid uh, views like ba videos, basically. That's the craziest video I got. That is, I'm shocked that it went up that high. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I I'm not sure if I've got. I know I got the stick modding one, which went a bit nuts. But I don't think I got anything else to come anywhere close to five thousand. <laughs> To be honest, I find these days that um, a lot of the channels with the best like gameplay and uh, the best reviews that don't tend to have highest um, highest subscribers. Oh, I can't remember behind. I think YouTube. Um, well, it does. It, it pushes the highest subscriber channels over everything else. So obviously that's what earns them the money. Which is a shame, because there's a lot of other really good channels in here. They do tend to get a bit lost. So at the beginning of that level, you literally just got to stay in the middle. These speed ups. Come on. Okay, that's quite nice. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, that's it. That's this nasty one. This would be a nasty thing coming behind then. At least they fly off to the side. Oh, I didn't want it. I'm going to have to go for the death ray, I think. It's better than uh, the green one. Probably a mistake going for those uh, points then, but... Another one, probably, isn't it? Oh, dolphin, look. Oh, Yeah, same year. I've only got a couple as well. I've been on the ten years ago. I think I think I've been on YouTube for about six or seven. <laughs> Remember those tiger handouts? God, terror, aren't they? Yeah, my joystick videos I've done seem to get uh, a lot of high review, high sort of views. Especially the one, that's crazy eyes. Ooh, bugger. Right, now they're, they're moving a bit faster, aren't they? Right, so you can't, alright, you can bomb them, that's, that's handy. And they can be a bomb as well. I think I'm just bombing my thing. Do the safety route. I'm sure I finished this once on the Mega Drive a long time ago. Ooh, that's a red one as well. That's because I'm full up in there. Oh, he tagged me. Poopy. Ah, that was getting. This might be a bit difficult to recover from. We'll see. the way they move. Ah, oh, damn, he got me again. Get in. Cool, nice sub. Got a sub to the channel. Yeah, man, you do a lot of streams as well. Half a time I miss them. I 
think the idea is to try and stay back as much as possible on this bit. I'm uh, surprised I survived that, to be honest. I wonder if they reuse that track in the arcade one as well, or did they just do it on you to save a bit of uh, room on the cartridge? I don't want to sit over the top of him. I could have actually. <laughs> yeah, they're a pain in the ass. I'm not on this channel for a while, mind. I keep le they they do occasionally leave messages which I delete, but I usually just hide them. They can message as much as they want. I know what you mean, though. This it's a good idea having the subs. any game this far in to be honest Does aim at you anyway? He just his weapon spreads out a bit. I don't think I want it. I know it's good, but. Tell you what, man, I always get hot when I'm buddy streaming. I don't know why. You know, I got the window open. Oh, I thought they were going to come back up behind me then. That was a little bit naughty, yeah, wasn't it? messing around then. I haven't got quite enough firepower to stay right in front of those things. Enemies, and then maybe. Hey, <laughs> right, let's go, mate. Yeah, it's a good game. I haven't played the arcade version of this for quite a while. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, that was 
Lucky, I think. I do not want it. Oh my god. Oh great. Okay, don't ask me how I should die. God. Oh no! They are quite fast moving. I might have to bomb this bit. Okay, that's a few of them going on. Don't like it. Oh my god. Oh, you. This one's going to be tricky to recover from, I think, without bombing. <sighs> Should have bombed it. Was it? I don't you thought you in the nest, it's pretty good. Or I remember. Oh, I don't want to bomb! I was trying to do that without bombing. I don't want to bomb. I might have to succumb to it, mate. Yeah, I think blame might be a good idea. I'm quite got enough firepower to kill these fast. Not coming a mile off end as well. Didn't, wasn't planning on continuing through it, but I'm having fun, so forget it. Oh, that was very lucky I did that then. Okay, we're through it. Great, I've got one of those planes. Okay, rotating things. They're new. I'm not going for it. No! Okay. Okay, calm down. Don't want it. I know it might be useful. A oh, single death beam. But the uh, my finger locked then. <laughs>
Got it. I can't remember the next version. Like, I remember it being good. The PC Engine version is really good, and uh, once you finished all the arcade uh, levels, you get those four upgraded levels at the end, where you get like the um, upgrade to the um, plane and everything. They're really good as well. They're like a massive step up. Oh, well, it wasn't a one CC, but it was a finish, I suppose. It's the time. Let's have a look at the difficulty now. Google Edge Shark. <laughs> yeah, the music on the PC Engine is good. Those four bonus levels are really, they're really good on the PC Engine. They're pretty awesome, actually, those four levels. It's quite a tricky one CC as well. I've done it a couple of times, but it, it, those four those four levels at the end are quite hard. It does look like a trapdoor guy. What was his name? Bert. Bert. Oh, that was the other one. Yeah, I'm thinking of that's the one that goes along the floor, isn't it? I was thinking of the big guy. Burke. Ah, not Bert. Burke. Nice. Close. No cigar though. Wonder what it's like now. I used to like trapdoor, it was good. Ooh, give me full power, that's quite cool. Okay, let's see what the difficulty's like. Give me full speed as well. Actually, that speed's quite nice. Oh god, now it's, it's ramped up, isn't it? Spread weapon. It's not that powerful, but it's good. I assume this is probably hard mode now. I do not want to collect that green weapon. Staying over here. Okay, let's go for death rate. Actually, I think I quite like full speed, don't you? Dean, with this uh, stick as well, I forgot to mention, I changed the spring out for the uh, the lighter spring, and it, it feels really nice now. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I remember trap doors. Huh? <laughs> I am old, I think. I didn't power right down, look.
Yeah, I think it feels nicer with the lighter spring. It's really easy to move it. Lane, I remember that. And Pigeon Street. What else was there? I used to love Bank. Bank Puss was awesome. What was the one with the guy who used to go into the mirror? Mr. Mr. Something. Uh, the spring in originally, uh, I'm not sure which spring. It just gives you like a a, a strange weight measurement. It's doing, it was fine, the one in here, but the lighter one is, is really nice. It feels... Like I say, it feels as light as a sandwich stick now, but it, it's got that really nice throw of a uh, Sumitsu. Was the gummage eye. I'm not sure, I'd have to have a look in the box to tell you the weight thing. It might have been like a, the original one, would be a 0 0.8 pound spring, and the one that's in here now, I think, is a, a no, 0 0.6. Maybe. I could be looking at that wrong mind. Yeah, what was the one where they used to go for the, the mirror? Was Mr. Ben was there, was it that? I think it was Mr. Ben. Oh god. I'll tell you what, speed is definitely handy on this. Does have his uses, man. I'll give it that. The Moomins, that was another one, used to be quite good. The um, Cities of Gold, what was it called? Something in the Cities of Gold. Ulysses 31, I used to love that. That's brilliant, Ulysses 31. I don't know why they never made a film of that. French cartoon that was as well, wasn't it? I haven't watched them in years. I wouldn't mind watching them again. I love the idea of having the uh, the Greek myths, but in space. And it worked as well the way they did it. It's basically Homer's Odyssey, isn't it? Basically, but in space. That was a brilliant card to my was. I'll have to have a look at the net. I remember there was there was DVDs you could buy a long time ago. Yeah, it was French. It was French Japanese, was it? Ah. Yeah, the free the free wheeled um, warriors or whatever it's called. Remember that? Visionaries, remember that? <laughs> I 
That's funny. God, do you remember where TV used to uh, go off in the day? It'd be on in the morning, it'd go off, it'd come back on lunchtime. And then it'd be on for like Pebble Mill or something. And then it would literally go off again. That seems crazy now, doesn't it? The TV used to do that. I remember as a kid waiting around to like, must have been like four o'clock or something, when kids' programs come on. And there was always sodding Lassie. And I didn't hate Lassie, but I hated watching it. I always wanted to watch the cool stuff. So you'd have to watch an episode about Eat Lassie. And then if you were unlucky, you'd have to watch Jack and Oli. And then wait then for six o'clock or after six for Monkey Magic. Oh yeah. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. That's probably the best weapon for this bit. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems mad, doesn't it? There was only like three channels and they used to go off at two times a day. God, nearly have me. Well, it's definitely harder this time round. It's tricky when you haven't got um, good weapons, right? Red, well, token horse. <laughs> yeah, flipper. And uh, what was that? Gentle Ben was the other one. With the bloody, uh, the bear in the bloody um, down south in America. In the bayou. Yeah, Mr. Red, the token horse. <laughs> oh, funny. In case you do it, though, my mates, we'll uh, we'll set this up. I should just go through YouTube for all like intros to cartoons and stuff you remember as a kid. You'll just come across stuff. Oh bloody hell! I remember watching that. Oh, full on death ray now. I think when this weapon is powered up, it's pretty much the best weapon. It'd be great if that beam just stayed forward.
Here we got it. Well, there's Andy and Abbott. Do not want to get that green. Dog Canyon, that was another one, it was good. I'm trying to think of shows when I play this. Nightmare was another cool one. What was the one with the red salamander? It was a little bit like Nightmare, but it was set in the future. And it was like um, overlaid. You, they, they, were on a, like, um, they were on a game show on a different planet, and the, the bad guy was the red salamander. And they had to guide him across it. There was like um, a maze on one bit where they had to go across um, like a gap without falling I can never remember what that's called it was like uh, it was like the precursor to nightmare basically Could we call it something challenge maybe or challenge something? Possibly. Maybe. Oh, Captain Pogos and Seaman Stains. <laughs> I'm sure they were having a laugh with that name. I say the adventure game, that was the one. Yeah, that was cool as well. Was that American? Or was it UK or European or whatever? Remember I remember it always looked like like American TV. I can't believe Pug, Captain Pugwash and Seaman stains. Oh, if I just made that up. Go see that um, that one-off uh, rainbow episode they did for a laugh, and they checked it out. Didn't do it on the air. They checked it on the internet, where they were playing with um, Zippy's balls. That's really funny. <laughs> it was done for a laugh as well. God, I'm dodging power-ups here. <laughs> It. It's not too bad if I pick up that one, but I want to keep the death ray if I can. Okay, we're all right, good. I'm fine. Didn't panic, honest. Oh god, I didn't see how that. Oh, that's the base on the isn't it? I had a go with um, Steam Deck again yesterday. With, uh, Emily is running on it. And um, it's playing the uh, GameCube Wii games. When it's PlayStation, they all run really good. You can side load uh, RetroArch. Plus, there's other emulators on it where you can side load um, N64 games and stuff. GameCube ones. Looks really nice on the screen. I uh, first first game I chucked on it was uh, you had the Lynx emulator on it. I was like, oh, I gotta play that on the Steam Deck. It looks to biz on the screen as well. It was a bad move. I was getting that. Actually, the Steam Deck's probably it's probably the size of the original Links. It 
But yeah, the runs emulator is really good. It's definitely, I would say, the best handheld emulator console. <laughs> I have you heard of the Ioneas? They, they're more expensive, innit? They? they look really good as well, mind. Ando, how's it going? Oh, Gummy Bears, yeah, I remember them. Used to be on a Sunday, they did, didn't they? Do, do, do. Yeah, but Steam Deck's um, it's really nice as an emulator machine. Very impressive and held, actually. They're about half the price of the INEO ones as well, aren't they? I would say as well, that screen being 720p for the size it is, is perfect, basically. Or just over 720p. Don't need any more of that size. It's a nice big screen as well. It's bigger than the, uh, the Switcher screen. These planes are starting to get a bit fruity, aren't they? Oh god, that was uh That was nearly death then. And that was. Be a really nice handheld console to get hold of that with the Steam Deck. It's just a shame we can't get them. The two up end, but yeah. It is pretty sweet, I'll give you that. as well then. He's a bit sneaky, he's alter he's altering his fire. Are you? That's the way. Yeah, get a Steam Deck instead. Honestly, but 720p is fine for that for a screen that size. You know, to be honest, if you had 1080p on a screen that size, it's wasted, really, isn't it? It makes more sense anyway, because you're saving on battery, and uh, you, you can pump the graphics up a little bit nicer. Because you're running at lower resolution, so... You know, it's nicer to have a higher resolution screen, I suppose, but... Uh, it, it's perfectly serviceable. I'm in trouble now with this weapon and no speed. Atomic cat. 
The switch looks fine on the screen anyway when you're playing it. It's like having a 4K screen on a smartphone. It's it's a complete waste. It's a complete waste, really. Like my phone, I got a bloody 2K odd screen on mine as well, and all right, it looks nice and stuff, but it. it it is a bit of a waste, really. This is getting tasty with no weapons. Oh, come here, you bitch. <laughs> Those speed ups do not want to be collected. This is going to be interesting on the uh, second loop. As long as those planes don't fire, they should be all right. Yeah, some of them were really hard to get in there. I, I didn't bother collecting them all. I run around the map uh, to collect as many healths and missiles as I could because I was struggling at the end. I did do the run for them. This helped me on the last boss a bit. Oh my god. Okay. Staying on the opposite side of him is not a bad way of doing it. <laughs> Couldn't quite get through it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a waste, isn't it, really? You're not really taking full advantage of you at, at, at the small screen. How the hell did I manage to go through it? bomb that third one I think X10 yeah, EP is is perfectly fine up to 32 inches no, no problems at all and it still looks really good Bomb the third one, I think. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, no, we're not. Here we are. We're good. We're good. I wish he'd bug it off on the side.
Perhaps you should uh, move away from it for like a couple of days or something and then go back to it. <sighs> no lives. Unless I power up, I don't think I'm going to do this. Was this the level where they start coming from behind you really fast? Alright, I can bomb this bit, can't I? Okay, that's better. Okay, when it comes back down. Boom, boom, boom. Too scared to deal with it. Oh, nearly had it then. Oh, no. Well, I managed to get eight levels in after that continue on the second time round. Yeah, it's, it's getting the same with um, GPUs these days as well, isn't it? With clever upscaling the stuff that they do it now, it makes more sense. Run it at lower resolution, upscale it, and if it looks like 4K, alright, it might not be 4K, but if it looks like 4K, at that point, what's the difference? It's just you can run higher graphics presets then. It makes sense. Okay, that was fun. Um, Gauntlet Slice, that was done by M2, that was their first game, wasn't it? Gauntlet 4, on the Meg Drive. Who's Ogs Y? Mm. Look what we got here. It's Actor X was quite nice, it's different to the arcade one, I was a bit gutted about that. What the hell is that? Okay, let's try that, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's like I said. If you can, if you can make something look like 4K through clever upscaling, uh, what's the point running in 84K when you may as well just run in, get it running better? I have no idea what this is. EA is just probably terrible. Ah, uh, fair enough. What the hell is this game? Oh, actually, I've seen pictures of this game, but I've never played it. Is this an Amiga game? Hey, don't play too bad. It looks like an Amiga game, doesn't it? Yeah, I've seen that sprite before. Oh, you haven't got a third button. Okay, you got NG then, so I just got it. Can you actually collect them? Alright, you gotta pull down to collect, that's the shit. Okay, that was a fair. Oh, I didn't jump. I did, but it didn't work. That's a bit sneaky, isn't it? It's got to be a me game. Huh? 
What do I do here then? Why won't this let me pass? None shall pass. Okay. Don't start on your thing. Great, you're not supposed to go that way. It doesn't let me walk all that way and I can't go. Well, no, I can't back up. Okay, we were looking half decent up to this point. Don't play too bad, actually. We're gonna get so many of these things or something. Shit, you gotta duck down to pick him up. The hell am I gonna do here then? Okay, this. I can't go back. Uh. Can't hold the button down to charge. Uh, what the hell have I got to do? Ooh, okay. Didn't see that coming. What the hell have I got to do? No, I haven't. I need to try that out. Welcome to the roommate zone. So I want to know what i got to do there now. Right, this don't play off, bad. Might be a fun little platform game if I can learn to jump properly. That's tricky to dodge, mind. That is really tricky to dodge. It's like you've got a novice there. Why does he fall down when his life fills up? Weird, he falls over with his NG. Am I gonna run out of time again? Looks that way, isn't it? Ah, oh, what? Sword of Sword Dance, terrible. That's an awful game. Uh, so, what are you gonna do in this game, man?
Oh, right, that takes your time off you. Get your energy back, but the time disappears. Okay. I can't remember which item it was though, it did that. Watch if you go right to the end edge. Oh, what's that do? Oh, I wonder if I was dead. Don't know what that does. How do you do this bit? Any ideas, anyone? You can't duck down, you can't jump, you can't slide. It's not... Oh, hang on. Ah, right, you pick that up. Oh, just Simon Says. That's bizarre. get the apple. Looks like um Shadow of the Beast, eh? Shadow of Beast. Uh, you twat. Let me off the ledge, I can't believe it. <sighs> so if they come up and hit you, it does knock you forward off the edge off the edge of the ledge. Huh? Okay. <sighs> you cannot go to the edge of these things. That's about as far as you can go. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's the time? Ten two. Uh, that's okay. I've never played that before. Yeah. Is this in the medium? It might have been. It looks like it graphically, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll have another go with that, I know, mate. Right, I'm just going to go and make a sandwich a second. And uh, I'll be back in a moment. Nio's actually really good, I need to finish her.
Right, I'm back. What did I miss? Yeah, Terrican game's good. So I did go phase through uh, completing all Terrican games tonight. I still haven't done Super Terrican 2 though because it's crap. Yep. I definitely had a bit of a Turrican phase, didn't I? I want to know if this was an Amiga game now. Raxos. It looks like it. Just been a Mega Drive game. Possibly. Must. Yeah, it must have just been a Mega Drive game. Maybe. Yeah, Risky Woods, I remember that. Never go this time. We've got options. Ah, oh, chant. That's what it's supposed to be, is it? It's jolly.
Oh. Are these just random apples? I need that to get past that statue. Couldn't do anything, eh? That's a bit cheap, mine. too much. It didn't play brilliant, but... I just got a guess then. Ooh, boom run. Why do they take you back a little bit then? Oh, no, they don't. It is a, it is a new bit. Well, watch they do it to off platforms. Ah. Oh, you fucking made me walk off the platform. <sighs> I can't believe I... Got to push that direction, but then it makes you walk off the platform. Great. It's got some cheap tricks on it. Elvis. Why is Elvis in this game? It is Shadow Atoma. I can't tell, I've just put me back. It looks like it. I went to the exit, I went into it, and it puts you back right at the beginning. This game's odd.
appeared. Okay. That's two different weapons then. This game is a little bit odd. You can shoot them in. I don't get, I don't understand where you got five e Elvis. Don't get it. I can't move either. So what's going on then? Very mechanical type. Don't think I paid that. Alright, different level now. Dad, you go right in the edge and it but he throws you off. Am I supposed to jump back? Am I just supposed to run in all for the best? Let's get this game has definitely got some gameplay issues. Try that accent. Well, that's cool. It's Elvis again. weird those things that take uh, life energy. How did I get that fancy suit last time? It's gonna kill me you now. It is a little bit annoying. Especially that bit, I can't shoot him. All right. Oh, I just gotta hold on the button and auto jump. Oh, even Dean, how's it going? 
How are you? Welcome to the House of Pain. It is pain, so I'm playing this. <sighs> yeah, this game's a bit crap, isn't it? So that, that kills you as well. Okay, box that. Yeah, it's a bit tougher, isn't it? This is a platform game on you that I haven't played for a long time. Did you swear to 1GC8, but I probably can't now. Come on, very well. Let's have a quick play about soon. Let's have a go with that. That's a good game, guys. Arcade, PC Engine, or uh, Mega Drive? Make your choice now. We're going to go with our Nexus one. Okay, it's a part one game on the Mega Drive, which I started playing when I first streamed called Dana. That's a really nice game, guys. Tricky though. It took me about a week to learn it. I like Chucky Chucky boys. Where we'll go with that next? Tell me the version. So the job's are right then, Dean, is it? Just a bit, bit quieter than the council ones. It's probably quite nice. Play the Megadrive one if you want. I'll uh, once I've once I've had a buzz on this, we'll have, we'll have a go that next. I like the Megadrive one as well. It's good. It's a little bit different to the other ones where basically the money you get actually is money. For all other ones, it's just points. Oh, I knew I was going to be the burner. Okay, I'm alright. All good. Yeah, the Meg Drive one actually makes use of um, the money. Yep, North Wales then, Eugene. Say hello to the other half of me. Fell off the edge, and two, three, 
four, five. Is that a shield or is it the round weapon? A winner, but yeah. It's unusual. Of all the times I've played that, I've only ever seen that a few times. Yeah, the arcade version to Mega Twins um, is literally just points on the PC Engine one. But the Mega Drive one gives you uh, it gives you shops. You can upgrade your weapons and stuff. It does make it a little bit more tricky in some ways, right? The fun game, though. I'd say I ignored that game back in the day because I, I didn't think it looked that great, so... I didn't bother buying it, but it's one of those games I've played later on and really enjoyed it. Oh, nice. Good place to have a shield. I don't play this game quite often, do I? Speed I want. Don't want that. Here's my speed. Nice. That's what I wanted. Oh, this should go a little bit faster. Oop, didn't realize he'd uh, still one left then. Right, here we go in. Am I gonna mess this boss up? Nearly, yep. Actually, I got plenty of bombs. As long as you don't let those things go on the side, you. Start firing bullets at you. This boss is quite easy. I know it's weird you're not in work, to be honest. You're better off here, mind I reckon. Say, I'll play son's ass, so... Oh, good job I didn't lose my shield, then. Come on, stop playing fair. I do not want to pick that up. They're trying, aren't they? Go get my. I got speed, I can run this. You can only do half your speed. Ooh. I do not want to pick that up.
Okay, did not use the ball. Oh! Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I'm happy, happy, it's all good. a couple of bombs here really to do it properly got it <laughs> yeah damn right it's the same with me but to be honest it's the bloody work an absolute nightmare Should just bomb here really, I got plenty of bombs. And they normally drop bombs since you bomb them anyway, so Okay, it's trying to definitely trying to feed me the burner. Definitely wants me to get a burner. How many burners in a row? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, that was a bit silly then. But yeah, that must what's that? About eight burners in a row? Got about nine. And he died then. And then. They got ten burners in a row. I'm gonna have to get it as well. Oh, you bastard. Perfect, that's what I want. Right. As long as I can keep this, we're good. Okay, we're nearly at the end. Ah, oh, I should have used the bomb. Yeah, it is. I'll try and try to stay out with it as long as much as I can. Especially now it is, like. I literally ain't going in unless I have to. I got my shield back. I was lucky. It doesn't give out shields and weapons that often this game, don't? I still think the sound is slightly off on this. I think it was better before they changed it. This might be more accurate though. I don't know. I 
I do not want to get that. If you get them just to the top of the screen, they don't fire. But watch for you, don't block yourself in. Okay, we're good. I haven't blocked myself in here for a while. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bomb. I need bombs this bit. Can't take too much time here. Okay, nice full energy. But over this side is the easier way to do this. Right, I can't go that way now because I want to keep this weapon. A little bit silly, I was actually. Trying to get me to get that weapon. I do not want it. Okay, good, we good. Yeah, I don't blame you, but. Gonna, I'm going to end up leaving at some point as well. Like I say, as long as I can save working in the house, the better. If you're not in there, it's not as bad. It's when you're there, it's, it, it, what it makes it worse. Right, this is the ultimate weapon to have for this, this bit. I do not want to lose it. This bitch tree. Oh, I got it. My, sh my shield. Look at it. Oh, I just got to take my time in this bit now. But yeah, I haven't got the shield. Oh, I should use the bomb. I would have been really upset if I died then. Right, I got plenty of bombs for this bit coming up, which is a bit rough. Right, so I'm going to hug the wall. Hug the wall, hug the wall, all good. Right, this is a great weapon to have for this. I still gotta be careful though.
I'm gonna bomb with it. I don't want to use too many of my bombs if I can help it. Because this bit's a bit hard. But now we've got loads of bombs, I should be able to bomb it. Okay, this is good. This is really good. Gotta be careful here. I gotta be careful. I don't want to use too many bombs if I can help it. Oh, I got it! No! Oh man, that was looking pretty good for a one life clear then as well. Damn. I've not one life this yet. That's so close. Get in. I'm literally only just off the boss as well. It's not far from you. There's the boss, basically. Ah, it's close. In the wrong place, then. Get in. Man, that was so close to one life clear. It's time for me to go, really. I just can't be asked. But like I said, as long as I don't win, it ain't too bad. I could try doing it too old. I take a while lot. Tempted. Now I've got this many lives, I might actually be able to do it. It's considerably harder the second time round though. I can't believe I, I was just off doing it all my life. <laughs> Get in. It's probably like three, four times harder, no? Have to play a little bit more safer. Man, I'm glad that I didn't do it in my life. Yeah, it's just I'm so close to doing it on life. Well, I've never got the two all, so I come very close to it on that replay I did. Um, 
I've got to be a bit more careful now, though, ain't Okay, we're good. They do fire a lot more at you now as well, and it's, it is faster as well. Doable, huh? The problem is you can't take too much time, because you will literally run out of time. Oh, nice, that's what I want. Again, a lot less power-ups though as well. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, my... Oh, I should have used my bomb. Oh, what a dork. Why didn't I use my bomb? Three, four, five, six. What was an eight? Seven, eight. Okay, that was a bit tricky. One, two, three. Oh God, I'm making a picture of this. I want that. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. Okay, we did it. Yeah, we still good clear. This weapon is more powerful than the other weapon. I like this game too much, I think. Even if the time the time thing is a bit annoying. Slow down, then run. I want our power up. <laughs> right, I'm out of bombs though, this is gonna be tricky. Um, I am gonna have to get this weapon I think. Speed with it. <laughs> yep, I got, got some bombs. Oh, nice shield. I might, I might, I should have picked up that um, a weapon change. Oh, I'm dead now. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm good. Oh, no, I'm not. Damn, I ain't got, I got one bomb. 
Okay, this could go horribly wrong. We shall see. I was lucky in. Managed to catch that one on the right. And again. Okay, that was pretty good, like. Oh God, I'm gonna have to take my time. I to use my bomb. Okay, this is not going well. I think I was going to die then. Come on, get it. Can't hang around too much. Okay, we're good. Let's just start playing it on this level all the time, though. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get this. Uh. This is gonna be tricky. I've only got two bombs and... They do enemies do come on on the, these bits. Okay, come on. Okay, I made it. Oh. I went for the middle of it, man, but I got caught by that stray bullet. Ah, oh, starting to be you. Not good. Okay, that's the first lot on the side taken out. Not out of the woods yet. One more bomb. Oh, this this bit is solid with our weapon. Probably should have kept the other one actually. I got no bombs. Kill him on the side, kill that one laser, I'm in trouble otherwise. 
Well, the two all is definitely not happening. Let's have an incredibly jammy go now and some power ups. Oh my god. Okay, I'm alright. I'm good. Does not like giving you power ups on the second time round, does it? And I got one bomb left. Which I need for this bit. Dead. Oh, well, worth a try. Yeah, it's a, it's a shit that our job's turned into that, mate. I don't make a call. To have actually called the Mega Drive now makes much more sense. Mm, let's play that one, Mega Twins. Is it called Mega Twins on the American mode? Oh, it's um, oh, I know it's called Chicky Chicky Boys. Fun game is. A bunch of minutes. To look at that I didn't do on one life. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I don't know. I like this game. Let's go play two to see out of it. Still flying now. Wrong button. So, collecting money in this one is actually worth it. I think it's easier to do the flying level first. Day. I don't want to use. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, 
how's it with these burn bees? <laughs> I need energy. I'm sure there's energy this way. I'm sure there's energy up here. Come on, give me NG. Go for that. Susan too. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, some of them were. I'm not sure if this was. I want to clear it on one credit. If we can. I played it for a while, so maybe not. That was a practice goal. The PC Engine CD version of this looks really like the arcade. It's really nice looking, the uh, PC Engine CD version. It's a little bit slow though. I don't think it's quite as fast as the other versions. Okay, if he's going to stay over there, that's pretty good. Stop. Changed the buttons, didn't he? Are they dying now? Didn't die last time. Okay. No, I need to get one. Just the one, though. Or monster hands. That's what I really want. You send you a slap with fish, you get loads of money on it.
ill goat. <laughs> Brown fingers. Don't want brown fingers. Right, have I got enough fruit? Yes. Need that. Do run one though. It's like there's secret pots of money all over the place this game. No one up here. Nope. The wall gripping is a bit weird on this game. Half time you don't want to do it. As many kinds as prob possible, so I want that. Uh don't we get for doing that? coins he's definitely got to get the attack on this you got to definitely max that out catch you on Dean have a good one that's the trick to winning on this is maxing out that attack no, I haven't got enough the NG is quite useful as well mind I have raised away. It's a power shield I don't wanna. Keep the money for the next upgrade then. Okay, I got two specials. They'll come in handy. Lobsters are a pain in the ass.
With the water pushing me, was it don't help. That was lucky. Ah, there is a life. I, I bet I'll be gone. I probably shouldn't do that. Ah, oh, I can't go back for it. Well, not if I need it, I suppose. Sometimes swap sides. Here we go. Ah, oh, he went back. He's going to come back. Give me any coins. A fun little game is. Got low ball levels yet. Start. Oh. Always worth looking around. So they just give hints. Scorpion boss, I think. Oh no.
Energy's a bit low. That looks cool. I can't remember he does weird jumping attacks. I can't remember he does though. Banzai Corp. Okay, he didn't die. It's a good. It's actually a pretty good game. I, I remember dismissing it back in the day. As much as I, it's a biggie. I remember dismissing it back in the day and didn't bother buying it, but it's actually a fun game. It's a lot more fun than it initially looks, if you know what I mean. Capcom symbol, whatever that's called. A nice amount of money in this level. And full energy.
Oh, poopy. Oop. Top is lucky. <laughs> was really lucky. <laughs> Still, I'm going after the sword. Should be able to get it after this level, I reckon. Sure, there's something at the bottom of there. Oh well, I'm not gonna go for it. You can hit them for money. Right, energy, that's good. I got one, one bomb. Ah, oh, this guy could be tricky. This guy's pretty odd. Watch him though, he's quite funny. Basically a flasher.
Oh, no. I died. Damn. So this guy could be a bit tricky. Damn, get it. Yeah, catch on, don't know. Dig it. Yeah, I never really got into the Mega Man games. They are good, mind. Just, I, I don't know, I can't handle the fact you can't jump for some reason. I don't know why. So I died, I'm gonna have money for the bloody uh, thing. <sighs> yeah, people don't tend to like our game at all, do they? Is it actually that bad? It's uh, it's worth a lot of money, isn't it? If you've actually got a copy of it, a proper copy, right? Like. Needed our sword, really. Oh well. I died on our boss. Alright, I got enough now. Sure there's something in there. Find the final key. Oh. Okay, I gotta take my time here, don't I? I've got enough sword to him in. Can't get it. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. Ah, oh, dump. Oh, run away! Oh, I thought you were going to do a big jump in. Ah, oh, no! Out. We didn't do it. That was right near the end as well. Do a sneaky small jump. Yeah, and I, and I like Mega Man 2. I did get into that at one point and uh, really enjoyed that on the NES. That's probably the only one I've probably got into. Yeah, never. I played 8 on the PlayStation a little bit. Yeah, the music's good on him. Yeah, I remember playing on the SNES when it came out. I never went all the way through it, though. It just bugs me you can't duck down. <laughs> I know it seems a bit stupid, but it... I don't know why it annoys me for some reason. I play Megan. Can't talk. I play Mega Man Rock and Chase. Like the Mario Kart clan sort of rip off. I remember it being okay. I know the Mega Man series is, is well loved. What's the time? I'm going to grab another drink now. In a second. Let me finish this off. I can give my ass a stretch. <laughs> what about Mega Man games? Mega Man 8 on the PlayStation. Um, I haven't played any of the newer ones. I, I did have a quick go with the latest one. It seems pretty good. Right, button them up.
Right, I'm back. Yeah, it probably was actually. You're probably right there. Oh, you got jetpack, you? Nice. I've I've watched loads of speedruns of um, the Mega Man games. Seems to be loads and loads of speedruns. They're really popular in between, you know, for the speedrunners. Right, what we got here? Seems we're on Mega Drive. Hey, Buster, that's a nice game. Let's go for it. It's got loading on the Mega Drive, is not it? I sold my original a little a year or two ago. <laughs> PC Engine one's nice as well, but the Megadrive one's really nice. Ding, ding. Nice music. It's weird it's got loading though. It must be decompressing or something. <laughs> Game may play for a while. Go for it. I just like the arcade of this, even though it's it's solid. <laughs> Loading, bizarre. Yeah, I say that I, the only one I've really played properly is the second one. Oh yeah, little Samson looks cool. I like a music school. It's a really nice conversion of the arcade, the Mega Drive version. <laughs> the PC Engine one is, like I said, is also a very nice conversion, but. It's definitely more arcade, arcade difficulty than the PC Engine one. PC Engine one's quite tricky. Not to say the Meg Drive one is super easy from what I remember. Could be wrong though. Ding, ding, ding. I love the music on the space level. Yeah, I've, play I've played a little bit of it. it. It looks cool. It's a really expensive one, isn't it? It was one of the later games, wasn't it, in the US. I haven't got very far in mind, but I have played it. Here we go.
Yeah, you've got the, uh, like, I don't know, it looks like a gorilla or something. It plants bombs. You've got a little Samson who fires and can jump off walls and stuff, can't you? Uh, oh, oh, no, sorry, it's the mouse that plants the bombs, isn't it? And the gorilla guy got, like, a stretchy arm. <laughs> this was always an infamous level on the arcade one. I want to check something out in a minute. I didn't think it had uh, interpolation going. You see a slight shimmer. <laughs> what was this? A mouse like the stretchy gorilla guy, a little Samson, and is the other one like a dragon? Dragon blow bubbles or something, if I remember it. Check out the barrier. Oh well. The barriers aren't doing this bit because it will bounce off the balls. Try and get the barrier on the next section. Oh, I didn't let go of it in time. I couldn't charge it. Can't charge when I'm invisible. All right, I need the barrier. There's someone who oh shit. Yeah, he has a range attack. I say he can walk on spikes. Ah. Cool. Yeah, it's quite an interesting little game. And that made by um, Iram. An Iram who made that. Get the blackbirds on this level, do the planes. Remember, sometimes it used to be a bit of a hard to kill in the arcades, but sometimes could make you go to the back of the screen. 
These they always look like backwards. They don't know actually when I think about it. <laughs> Sometimes they would uh, back up a bit. job of missing that power up. Fantastic job of it actually. Those ones backed right up then as well. Takara in Japan, was it? <laughs> Don't like his boss coming up. get a bit of momentum on the next level. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare to deal with. So cool music on the next level. Oh, Takaru, it's a different company, is it? First, I think. Oh no! Yeah, that's a problem. I thought I was above that then. I forgot that would dodge him. Eh. I stayed a little bit too close then, didn't I? Power up. Oh, Tato published today. Eh? I don't know why I think IUM did it for some reason. Like a music against levels class. You got momentum. It's just tap in, it keeps going. Makes this level difficult.
go be trapped in. Uh, let's have a go for the beginning. Yeah, I was just thinking that I remember something to do with it for some reason. Too hot with the light on TV. I covered the light like as it uh, just blooms out on the camera. Are you doing the old hand cam? Yeah, there's, there's loads of NES games I haven't played. The NES was a, a pretty fantastic console, wasn't it? Which I never had when I was in the UK. Well, I, I've had one, but not back, not being the popular, if you know what I mean. It was all mass system. But I have come to uh, appreciate how good the uh, games are in the NES. A lot of crap as well, mine, but... In between a lot of that crap, there's some really good stuff. <laughs> Music almost sounds like a Neo Geo golf game. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure I had a go of it on meme a long, long time ago. I do that for. <laughs> it was unreleased, wasn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one with the big head in it flying around. Yeah, I'll have to have another go over. I can't remember that much about it. Oh, Horizon's good. Over Horizon, that's pretty nice. Uh, I'm sure I did a, a 1cc there. Yeah, Might have been a one life as well. I remember it was it was quite hard to do the one life on it. Or my thing it might have been that or one of the other ones. I can't remember. Scat's good as well, isn't it? It's another one I wouldn't mind playing through as well. Don't, 
get a six way shot. Would be quite useful for this level. Skid planes again. So good now. I missed the Kickstarter for that. Oh yeah, the Zombie Nation got re-released, didn't it? I've not really played that much. I want to check over a Ryzen now, I mean, hang on. It's the one I think it is. Start off like a plant level. Got it. A Japanese only over Ryzen? I don't think it was, was it? Maybe it was. There it is. Hot B. I don't think I've done my buttons for the NES core. Black okay. start. FDS. Mic. It's got way too many buttons this, uh, this core. Um, Filters. Let me just check these in. I did rename them so I can easily find them. Yeah, I did do a replay of this. I did a, I did a, uh, I'm not sure if it was a one, might have been a one life replay, I can't remember. It's a pretty nice game this is. I can't remember how to play in there though. 
I'm not sure. I think the laser is the best weapon. Oh, there's a homing weapon as well, isn't it? It is. Very interesting, you can shoot back and forward. Um, the homing's good when you power it up. The bee's like the bomb, innit? It's amazing how good they did with the um, NES, considering how it started with like your classic sort of two free screen arcade games. Obviously, they use special chips and stuff to sort of uh, make it even better, but some of the stuff they did in here was really good. I can't remember the bosses though. Plant boss, I remember. Can't kill the snake, can it? Why did I do that for? That's right, if you put auto fire on, you can fire faster. Can you fight faster? Yeah, you can. Oh my god. That was silly, wasn't it? I like uh, YY World. YY World 2, that's, that's a really cool game. I've still got the original cartridge that are flying around. I, got a couple, I haven't got many Famicom games left now, mind. I got YY World, I got um, Famicom and Mario Golf, which is quite cool. Um, I got anything else? I'm not sure. Oh, I might have a Tetris 2, possibly. Tetris 2 Bombless. Which, I reckon the NES, the SNES one got much better music. It looks nicer, but the NES one plays a lot faster. You gotta go forward, baby. I don't know. No, maybe not then. I thought you had to go forward, baby. You get trapped. Oh no, I think it's just a thing that opens. Isn't it? That's the bit you had to go forward. Yeah, I, I used to have loads of uh, Famicom cards, but um, I did a deal with my mate one day and sold him like 40 odd cards. All Famicom stuff. It's because I bought an Everdrive and like uh, 
I flog some of the other stuff of things I wanted off him, and then um, I kept a handful of things, not much. You know, things like Guardian Legend and uh, Salamander and uh, Greatest 2. Greatest 2 is nice. I had a couple of unofficial cards as well. Generally like multi-cart ones. A couple of single ones as well, like... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, side something? Shoot them up uh, with a helicopter in the car. Uh, Silkworm. I had a Reaper or Silkworm, and uh, I had one to others as well. I've still got my Famicom though. I got an RGB modded one with uh, an Everdrive. Yeah, Salamander cartridge, it's wicked, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember to do his boss though. Not like that. Oh, so much practice in this, I can't remember the levels. Yeah, there's loads of bootlegs flying around, don't they? A couple of disc system games as well. Ed Wardner and um, Load Runner. There's only two I had. The NES looks nice in here, especially when you disable the um, sprite limit, so you don't get no flickering. Looks pretty funky. I can remember how to do this though. Sneaky them things, eh? Yeah, it's pretty nice little shoot map this one. Sad. Radius. Um, probably had about not a huge amount of Famicom games, maybe about 80 something like that. Oh, I used to have Transformers No Convoy. That used to be the uh, Transformers Challenge. 
Try and get past the first enemy without dying. The Transformers Challenge. You wouldn't believe how hard that actually is. Sorry, I've got the um, Goonies game, Fib 1 and 2. And I never tried it on there. The Everdrive is quite easy, you just run them. It works. And it auto switches them as well, which is handy. Oh, I remember you got to move around on this boss. Oh, you get. I don't think I've tried that one. It's got like the um, Japanese uh, Zelda. Well, it's like a Zelda set in Future Japan, isn't it? On the FDS. That, that's, that's quite cool. I'd say Warden is pretty decent as well. Slightly different to the arcade one, but pretty pretty good nevertheless. Probably you don't play a game for a while, you but you forget it. Eh? Come back to it, it's like learning it again. Quantum Fighter, Kabuki Quantum Fighter, that's not bad. That was terrible. Go on. We got the freeway attack. Go 
Go love that slow down. Wrath World is good as well, Journey to Cellus. I knew it was Wrath World I did, but um it's a pretty nice game. Oh, it's got supposed to be a uh, Terminator game on there, apparently. Something happened with the license. Don't know why they call it Wrath World, though, in Japan, the original name for it. Ah, oh, where did I do that for? Went a little bit too far down then. I don't think it's free. Come on, um, quad fighter. That's a that's a guy, isn't it? I think. Same with Wrath World. All oh, right, you got to get in here quick, haven't you? Oh, I've too far up. Is it? Rough, rough world. Fair enough, I suppose. Right, okay. You pronounce it rough today. I always knew. I, I was. Um, that's why I first came across with that name. I didn't realise it was Journey to Sell It. That's a, that's a nice game, as. I like Horizon, it's a pretty nice uh, shit map. Um, is it called that in Japanese? Score. What's it called in Japanese? Um, zombie game with a head. I don't know what this is. Oh, this looks fun. Oh, you can't jump high again. It just auto jumps. Shield don't work in. Oh, Zelda set in the future, yeah, that's cool. Ah, oh, okay, you can duck down. Doesn't do anything. Got a shield, but it don't work. Ah, that's what it's called, eh? Spicy! Do you see it's spicy? High score! High score! Pretty good speech. That's terrible speech. What's it called? Abba. Oh god. Hang on, gone a bit too far. It's a Tengu, uh. Mask in it basically. I want a Tengu mask. I've only very briefly played this. It's mad they got a release late, you know, what was it about six months ago or something like that? I should take that off, shouldn't I? It's an odd game, though, isn't it? 
It's got crazy fast playability as well. So you've got to save some people then. Okay, you get hit by them things then. Odd is good, yeah. Let's try another go at it. Yep, it is a disembodied head, right? Which is pretty random. It's like rampage to shoot him up in it. Definitely an odd one. Save there, man. The probability is really odd on you. It's like got a bit of a momentum to it. It's like super fast. Okay, hitting them is bad. Bomb's great, but I don't know. Ooh, we're done level one. Okay, hitting them is really bad news. Yep. Did the um did the new versionist get any improvements or is it pretty much just the same game? I just can't die through it things, okay that's that's good. Okay. Nobody. So when you see them spark up, you literally I've got to get through them. That was lucky. Ball ache there, aren't they? You definitely got to keep your um, eye out for them things. It's 
But he leaves this little kid of me. Or electric or whatever they are. Oh no, I'm screwed. Okay, it's a little bit annoying. Trigger. I need to keep my eye out for them things. Whatever I do, get forward when I see one of them. Add it again then. I hope that one disappears. beam there. Don't give you much time with those beams, do they? Come on, disappear. Okay, you got to autofire as well. I didn't notice that. Come on. What else would it be? Ah! Uh, he had the Statue of Liberty. It does look homebrew. <laughs> Not flames, the other one has taken uh, loads of energy off me. It's like the bullets don't hurt that much. It's uh, uh, okay. Try again. Now I know what I'm doing. Sort of. I have no idea what I'm doing. Now, it's really easy to uh, get hit by those electrics. Dodge on electric beams. It's quite hard to control as well. Eh? I 
and momentum you get off it makes it slippery and the fact that it's super fast Oh god, come on. My bad, get in the roof. Right, duck into that. Oh, that's a ship in the background, see? I thought that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah, you probably have got it. You can survive quite nicely as long as you don't hit the uh, electric beams. Say Kabuki Quantum Fire is another one. That's pretty good. I were will too, that's worth checking out. I wonder what the guys are you collecting for, I wonder what they actually do. Or have you got to collect them to get the end or something? I'm not quite sure. down it does get hard does it yeah he's got long hair I wonder what the obstacles is still a let all oh, right okay that's quite cool with the effect on the uh, clouds Get energy back. I 
It does come back. We've got to just destroy buildings or something and it comes back. Not sure. How would you get energy back? Electrics back. Um, that one doesn't give you much warning, is it? Dead. Oh, stretch. G.I. Joe, I don't think I've ever played it on the SNES, on the NES, the arcade game's cool. Go, Joe! It's a Super Sentinel Jetman. That's not a bad game. Abadox is quite nice as well. Uh, what else is good on you? Afterburn is pretty bad. A lot of this stuff, I'm not quite sure what it is. Kid Dracula, that, that's that's really good, that is Kid Dracula. The fun game. Or is it that one? I can never tell on the Japanese one. I have no idea what that is. Didn't tell to. Venture. Pretty sure Didn't to is uh, Adventure. The original the ASO. Your scrum object. Astrofang. Sounds cool. The car game, okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Never played this before. We just got to show all the cars. Please a bit odd. Sort of, yeah. You gotta push up the fire though. Pull back, changes into that. And push up you gotta tap up the fire. You gotta keep tapping up, you can't just hold it. Isn't it? It's still it's an arse killer. Should nickname my stool the arse destroyer. Damn it. Oh, this is definitely not great. I 
you got a break. The other button doesn't seem to do anything. Like I'm holding it down now. It doesn't seem to do anything. Shop. Okay. How uh, much have I got? Oh, okay, that just cancels. <laughs> oh, definitely. My ass cheeks are killing me. That is an odd game. I am going to swap chairs. Ah, oh, my ass. <laughs> it's alright for like uh, an hour, an hour or two, but once you're sitting there for about four hours, Jesus. Get my chair over here instead. Oh, so much better. It's better. There's uh, Fancy Zone's quite good on the uh, Famicom. The Jap the not the American version though. The American version's terrible. Yeah, the American version was done by somebody else, wasn't it? And it's uh, oh, so much better. Here we go. Yeah, work. This one's actually done by Sunsoft. It's actually a pretty nice version. Oh god, yes, definitely. I don't know what a uh, Outback Cowboy feels like. Yeah, the 10 gen port of this is dreadful. I used to have, uh, used to have this as well. Oh, yeah, I don't think I ever Bob playing it. Oh, I tell you. Arcade stools look good, but long term play. Not quite so great. Ding. Two's quite good as well. Not quite as good as the Mass System one, but it's still pretty nice. I feel like it's been violated. It's not good. I'm not into it.
Def, you collect the money easier on this version. Yeah, this this tool's alright for an hour or two, but Jesus. Really feel like Leroy's been treating me really badly at this moment in time. <laughs> Said he'd be gentle. Lie to me. Yeah, the 10 gen versions, like, they're really rough. If you go back. Um, where is it in the list? George just got a fancy zone. Uh, Spain, Germany, no. Best solve list. You know, maybe I haven't got it on you. I can use the map I do. I don't know. I don't know if it did have a map of chip in it, but um, for some reason I haven't got it on it. It definitely came out. Don't know quite why they're not on you. Maybe come out in Europe then. Did it come out in Europe? Yeah, maybe I had a map of chip, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Family trainer. See there's a uh, there's loads of NES games in it. It's crazy how many games came out on the NES. Especially the Famicom. Keshi made you know the bugin. That's um Adventure Island. I had part three. I had this one. Yeah, remember Gyromite. I so say they made completely different games, didn't they, on the uh, NES? This place is quite nice. I don't think it was this one. I had the B one, actually. Which is like a strange sort of breakout game. It's quite odd the one. It definitely won this one I had. Come on, Master Higgins. Thank you. 
Can you pick your... <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the star then, do unless you gotta buy it or something. There's a crap jump. <laughs> yeah, it was a great Famicom, Famicom game I was. I'll fix this. I think it took them. Ah, I forgot this one. You got uh, the characters. a replay of this one. I think it was the third one. Am I invincible? Find out. I am. Seems quite fun. Right, okay, you gotta. Maybe you gotta be on a run for this or something. But then they can't blow the fire out. Look at the enemy that comes behind you then. Invincible Fairy. That's the one. That's the one I had. The honey one. It's weird that is. It's a it's a strange game. Like a breakout game, but it's really difficult. Couldn't get very far, eh? Remember, I wasn't sure what to do at first. Oh, no. Come on, Mr. Higgins. It won't be nice Fortnite, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, it's quite fun. Nope. 
Eh? That thing make you die if you get off a dinosaur then. Good. I guess that if you fall off this stone, so you're dead. look a bit like Peter Griffin actually. <laughs> Didn't know he was actually based on Master Higgins. Obviously he was. No! Is that a turkey with wheels? I just got killed by a turkey with wheels. can do. Oh, right from the beginning. That's not much of a continue. Yeah, that's quite fun. Again, yeah, I think this is, yeah, I'm sure this is the one I had. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I had this one. This is really odd. I literally, it took me just to work it out. hard breakout levels which look quite nice. Me up, great. Yeah, odd, isn't it? Oh, that blows up, so all the power ups blow you up. the first adventure island as well. I don't think I ever got around to playing it. Oh great. Definitely got big balls. Please, a little bit weird.
Did he get a password? Oh, did he? What this, what this game has got to do with Venture Island, I have no idea. Oh, bugger. So when you collect the letters, you die anyway. It's an odd game. Very strange game. Need a paddle controller. I wonder if they ever got the uh, paddle controller from the um, Regret Mini working on Mister. That'd be uh, quite cool if I got that working. Am I actually collecting these letters properly? Yeah, so I, ne I never played this one that much, like, because I, I didn't get it. I don't think it's got anything really to involve with um, Adventure Island, to be honest. Oh, Nick Lammy thought it was a good idea, though. Oh, Hudson's off, sorry. Forgetting they own, they own, um, Canary own uh, Hudson's off now, doesn't he? I was playing that for ages. It was a nightmare with these things just stuck right in the corner. <laughs> I changed the um, speakers in this cab earlier. I had to do some modifications to the speaker boxes on it. The top, one of the top tweeters died. Which is great, because I can't hear it that much, to be honest, but... Uh, I've actually taken the tweeter boxes out and I've put proper speakers in there. There was like a weird square flat speaker. I've never seen one before. But uh, it sounds a beast now, I've changed it. Really nice. I was doing that this morning. Oh, that, um, yeah, I did. It looked quite cool, didn't it?
It's like a prototype, isn't it, or something? Like a Kickstarter thing? Weird game, this. No, I've left the same amp. What is the one speaker died? It's, it's two, there was two tweeters at the top and two main speakers at the bottom. And the tweeters, like a square disc, the, the bottom speakers are proper, proper, like, you know, car speakers or whatever they are. You know, proper actually speakers. And one of the, t the top left tweeter died. And uh, it cut, it's, they're, in, they're in series basically, the speakers are. So we cut the whole left sound off, which I, I managed to, I managed to figure that out and find a way around it. But I'm still missing it, but... It wasn't too bad because you couldn't really hear them. They were just there on the high pitch stuff. You could you you could hear it, so it didn't really make that much difference. But um, yeah, you got a. I, I bought new speakers here. They were like thirty quid. Um, but you got to modify the boxes. They're the same speakers, but they're uh, proper round speakers with uh, much bigger magnets on them as well. So they and uh, and bigger cones. So they they definitely sound better. You had, you had to, I had to modify the speaker boxes to get them to fit. So I had to get the Dremel out and basically make a square hole into a round hole, essentially, to make them fit. But I fitted them all in now and it, it sounds really good. It does sound, a, they do sound a lot better than they were. Apparently the newer Vulix, the, the Diamond Black and the Dime and the... And the diamond blue have got the round speakers on the top. It would have been easier if I had um, better tools to do it. Because I didn't have the, the correct tools. It took me a little while to, to do it. I don't know if I got the speakers handy. Yeah, look, exactly the same. You can't even tell unless you go, unless you knew there was a square speaker in the top. You you, you wouldn't you wouldn't know at all. It, it looks stock. Can't see it at all. It's just it's just got the standard round speakers top and bottom now. But uh, I've noticed that the top speakers are a lot louder. You really notice the four speakers in your face now. Yeah, so it, unless you, unless you knew what you were looking for, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't even know. It's the time. Let's have a quick go of uh, fiddle food before I go to bed. Yeah, it was bugging me that the one speaker won't work, and even though I couldn't really hear it that well, I found it, I found um. I didn't realise you could do it. You can do moves in mid-air and it randomly sticks you at the bottom. Sure no, I didn't know you could do this. Unless it was just glitching when I was playing it earlier. Let's have a go. It must have just been glitching. I was doing that move in mid-air, just to, to, to side uh, move. That one, and it was, it was, you could do it in mid-air, and it was glitching to the floor. <laughs> yeah, you literally couldn't tell if they were different. You would. You would literally have to know that this version of Vulix had those square speakers, and you're not gonna look at it to see them. <laughs> Tell you what, now it, it cranked out some volume before, but it in half cranks out some volume now. Are you trading for special deal? I always, I always kept this game. I don't. Know, I know. I know. It's it's not particularly great, and 
And then compared to the, you know, compared to the other fate fuse, it's a bit crap, but. I always find it fun. <laughs> a game for some reason I keep coming back to. It's definitely not a, a two-player game. Yeah, when they brought Fatal Fury 2 out, didn't they? It was good Fatal Fury 2, but it, it didn't have no combos, did it? And then Special improves it, and Special's got proper combos and stuff. Yeah, spe Special's not that expensive, is it? But, um, yeah, the, the older Neo Geo games, though, are getting really expensive. Do, 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 do. Oh, you got a loose card, nice. Yeah, I remember the cover. I think I think I may have had an American version. If I seen an MVS one for a reasonable price, I'd probably buy it. Oh my god. Okay, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe they did. Yeah, a lot of the original releases are worth quite a bit, aren't they? A sneaky punch. The Magician Lord's really expensive these days, isn't it? Well, I suppose it's cheap compared to Neo Geo, but it's still ain't, it ain't a cheap game anymore. This ain't, I don't know about Ninja Commando and stuff. Even things like um, Top Players Golf, which I actually really like. Even that on CD now, is you talking like, what, 40, 40 quid, 45 quid? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I know. That's the reason why I picked them up, because of the multi cards I've only got. Got that one, and Special's really good. Yeah, I got a copy of Special on AES. Actually, I've got. <laughs> Don't ask. I've got I got special on the CD, AES, and MVS. <laughs> got an all free for some reason. Doodle -doodle -doodle. Oh God. Yeah, real bike's good as well. I got us that one on the ears. <laughs> and CD, nice. Yeah, I've got the MVS version of Real Boat Special. And I got Real Boat Special on. I think I got Real Boat Special on CD. I think I have.
Real bug, uh, weren't bad, was it? But real bug specialist where it's at. That's a really cool game, man. Yeah, I'd say that Fit Through Special, I really like, I say I do like the first one, Fit Through Special, Real Bout, probably my favourite Fit Through games. Garon Mac the Wars is great as well mine, but I certainly haven't played them as much as the other versions. Yeah, I like Fit Through uh, 3 as well. I'm sure I've got that on CD as well somewhere. I remember buying that when it first came out. Got some really nice music on there as well, haven't it? I don't think there is one Fatal Fury game I don't actually like. Used to be a bit of a Fatal Fury fan when I had a Neo Geo. Especially if it was too special. It's amazing they still play that in competition now. Go on, jump. Yeah, Neo Geo got a definitely very distinct sort of sound of it like that that guitar sound and stuff they use oh man I used to love a Neo Geo when I had one back in the day it's it's pretty much my second favorite console With the PC Engine being my first. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it is. It came after. It's like, it's good that is, mine. That, that's that's pretty nice. It on CD as well. That actually loads pretty fast. I think because it hasn't got any like character intros or anything like that on it. Yeah, it was. It, it basically, you had. You had Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury 2, Fatal Fury Special, then Fatal Fury 3 came out, then you had Real Bout, Real Bout Special, then you had uh, Real Bout 2, and then Garo Mark of the Wolves. That's like eight Fatal Fury games. It is nice, real boat too. I haven't got the CD one. I wouldn't mind having it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a pretty late release, wasn't it? Might have a go that after this, actually. Last time I played, it was on CD. Surprisingly, um, loads pretty good on CD. Yeah, it does. I think the Fatal Fury games went really to town on combos, didn't they, from the third game onwards? Like, the second game's got nice combos, but the third game, they started putting bigger combos in it. By the time you got to, like, Real Bout Special, you could do some massive combos in there. Hello, how's it going? Yep, I remember. Yeah, I played it on CD last time I played it. How's it going, Paul? Alright? Did 
do do do. I say I still like this game. Yeah, you can. You, there is a way of throwing him every time. You can trick him into throwing him. I can't remember how to do it though. So I used to be able to beat this with nothing but froze. Still never understood how he managed to come back though. Yeah, I think for your music's wicked. So go real about two entry. You might have rubber bones. Yeah, I got a Vulix, a, a Japanese Vulix arcade cab. I'm on here now. You can see the hands <laughs> in the top window. I went for it and bought one. Don't ask me how I managed to fit it in your mind. It's gonna be Kim. Who am I gonna fight? Oh yeah, you, you you'd love it. It's really nice. <laughs> No, it's only a one. It's only a one-player panel. I can get a two-player panel from the one-player ones. Are a bit more sought after. You can get repo panels for about hundred quid, something like that. You could fit two people on here quite nicely, it's quite wide.
Oh yeah, two planes, yeah. That's the one thing I, I never like that much about the Fatal Fury games. Yeah, Kim's really good. I'm out of practice in my new mind. No, I don't think most people did. Interesting, I'm too bad. I can't. There's not many other beat maps that did it. That was bad. Yeah, it, it was pretty much, I think, and then they started using dodging, didn't they, basically? I said, Fight is a dynamite class. This guy was always a bastard. Not sure, do they? There are some new uh, new Geo games coming out. Yeah, some good ones actually have come out. Razion came out. Um, Croak Buster, which is really good. Xeno Crisis. They are expensive, but uh, they go up with money straight away, man, as soon as they're out, because they're all limited.
Is a new one coming? I don't know. It's beat him up. I was DT, says it. Yeah, actually, now you mention it, I think I remembered something about that. Because it was too similar. It's quite different, though. It's a new samurai game, aren't it? Nice on samurai game as well. No, I haven't played uh, new for all. Yeah, it's really good. It looks wicked as well. Okay, he's not falling for that. special off but that is weighing him down It is pretty cool to play Neo Geo games on uh, Arcade Carbine. Like they were meant to be played. Oh, caught him lovely end. Say hello as well. All right, Eddie, how's it going? Yeah, it does a bit. Sneaky, isn't she? Oh, he played him on the cab as well, dude. That's cool. It does feel right. Oh, God, she. Right. 
extra price you fell for that. Oh, no, it still beat me. Yeah, they do look nice in CRT. Oh, I bought an RGB cable from uh, Spain, dude. Make it. It's a time. I can probably shoot off, I think. Uh. So good, guys. I need to get that on CD, I think. Yeah, I bet it does. I haven't seen it on a CRT yet. Converse it. Can you can get converters from R, can you? HDMI to R to RGB. Just don't buy a cheap one because they're terrible. Let's have one go for Ash Valley before I go. You start this as well, didn't you? Try about if you're off. I might just stay on just one go of this and then shoot off. You start this as well, didn't you? Yeah, I've said. Same back as well. No worries, buddy. Catch you later. I'm going to go bed to myself. Nice to speak to you as always. As well, I'm only going to have one go of it. You had this as well, didn't you? I see you were bought it first and then I bought it. I can't remember. Oh God, this is a slow turning one. It's a fun game, message, but it uh, it won't last too long if you buy it on the console. It's a good game to pick up and play every now and then. ADK. Hey, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are the first. I like ADK, they always did uh, games, really nice music in the games. Eventually put, um, bought by SK. They were like a fir proper first party developer, weren't they? Plus, anyway, uh, ADK was ADK were the people who designed the new Geo. I think that's why they were a first-party developer. SK did design it. ADK did. It went over a wildebeest. Ah, time up. Wait then, I'm definitely gonna call it now. now. Fun game, guys. Is it that much? Yeah, they did, yeah. I say that there was one guy from ADK that uh, I'm pretty sure did um, develop the uh, Neo Geo. Four as a gay, obviously, but uh, yeah, the one guy did it. Right, that was fun, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. That's 200 plus, that was it. I can't remember how much I paid for it when I bought it. I'm sure I paid. I probably paid about 100 quid for it when I bought it. Oh, I swapped it for something, I can't remember. Because I had that exchange club going on for a while. Maybe I may, I may have exchanged it for something. Cheers, guys. It's been uh, it's been fun and an emotional experience as always. I don't know whether it's been a good experience for my ass, mine, but you know. I tell you, when I go back and look at the the TV, it half looks better on that monitor. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers for that. And I shall... Uh, what is it? It's not 180 quid, though, is it? You sure? I remember last time looking at that. It, it wasn't that much. Have I still got that? I can't remember if I flogged it. I may have. I'm sure last time I looked at it, it was going for about, I don't know, 50 quid, something like that. Hmm. Anyway, all right. Cheers, guys. I'll be back tomorrow anyway. Take care. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-da.